Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. And happy first Sunday in May. Yeah. And just want to give you a heads up. Next Sunday, the 10th, is Mother's Day. And uh, you see the banner here. You may not be able to see the whole thing, but it says, God bless mom. A mother, mother's love is the window into God's heart. Amen. Uh, amen. So all of you that are joining us or watching or listening, Remember, next next uh, Sunday is next Mother's Sunday. Day. Amen. So we, you may have a mom here. You have a mother in heaven, yeah. but you have a mom. Amen. You didn't get yeah. here by accident. Amen. Right. So praise God. Yeah. Amen. So anyway, feliz domingo por la mañana. Uh, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Listen to this: a church you could call home, a church alive is worth yeah. the viewing. Yeah. A worth a church alive is worth the hearing. A church alive is worth the walking here, amen, or driving here. So whatever, whichever way you want to get here, it's good to hear the word of God, amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I'm on fire. And, you know, we need to stay on fire for God, you know. Yeah. Be contagious, <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just let him rub off on you. And, and guess what? You know, uh, a fire starts with just a little spark, a little flame. And that's what we need to do. We need to be on fire for God at all times, you know. We feed ourselves things that we shouldn't, but we shouldn't. We don't feed ourselves the word of God mm -hmm. that's going to see us through it and, and, and help us. Amen. And we're so fearful about coronavirus. And we're so fearful about this world. But we need to feed on the right things and be on fire for God and not let these things worry us. Amen. Right. And hold us down. So anyway, I said all that to say, hey, welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. So all those of you joining us by audio video. Prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Don't never say he never has anything for you because he does. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So allow God to uh, bless you. Amen. Allow Amen. God to encourage you, change you, and correct you. Prepárense a recibir. Permita que la palabra lo uh, bendiga. Que tenga a el ánimo. Lo cambie y lo correge. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. The yeah. thing I've said all this time, you know, hey, don't come and leave as you came. That's right. Amen. Praise God. You know, come, go change. Change yourself. Allow the word of God to change you. You know, when yeah. you spend time with him, you should leave his presence on fire. Yeah. You should leave his presence wanting to go like David, have a David yeah. attitude, you know, and say, we're some giants. Go looking for some giants. Amen. <laughs> we have some... Uh, Good uh, scripture here for you in a few minutes. But anyway, prepare yourselves to receive. So, soldier of God, grab your Bibles. Yes. Amen. And church, let's say it like we mean it. Amen. Yeah. This is this my Bible. Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind's alert. My spirit is receptive. And I know what it say in Jesus' name. I have a point to do. Amen. Yes. Sometimes we're waiting on him. You know, yeah, there's a time of waiting on him. You know, when you go to pray and uh -huh. you leave it in his hands and yeah. in his timing, he'll do it. Amen. Yeah. But when we need to do something, we need to be busy and get on yeah. for a llama and get busy for God. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. I'm excited. Yeah. We're going to continue with being grateful Amen. and giving thanks. Amen. Yeah. This should be on a daily basis, yeah. not just on Thanksgiving, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> When you're sitting there eating some of that turkey, uh -huh. no, on a daily basis, be grateful and give a thanks. Amen. Yeah. I think we said it last week with this. If you're going to catch an attitude, hey, you know, catch an attitude of gratitude yeah. Yeah. and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We have a sign in the back of the church here that says each day is a gift. Receive uh -huh. it with gratitude. Amen. Whew. You know, when you open your eyes, thank God you open your eyes, you know, because he gave you a wake up call. And you're up. And you know, it's a good thing. It says to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Woo, God is good. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but let me take these off so we can continue. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord. Psalms 92 and 1. Yes. Well, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and yes. his love endureth forever. Amen. Psalms 107 and verse 1. Psalms 92, this is our text. It says, it is a good thing. Okay. To give thanks unto the Lord and uh -huh. to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Yes. Amen. All the time. Thank you, yes. Lord. Amen. You know, uh, 
when you get excited about God and you raise your hands <laughs> and you welcome him and you, and you stand before him or you, you kneel before him or whatever you do, you lay in there, still, you know, you're going to make the enemy mad and you're going to make people mad, well, excuse me, jealous people mad because oh, yeah. they don't want you to be more, uh, um, what do you say, religious in him. Amen. It's not about religion, it's relationship. When you have relationship, you know what? You're going to be excited about serving God. Amen? So praise God. But people are always going to be jealous. Amen? Yeah. Remember that we assemble ourselves together. Uh -huh. And when we assemble ourselves together at church or, or at the building or wherever we are, home, or wherever you gather yourself, uh -huh. there's people at different levels of maturity. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. But we're to grow in the things of God. And when we mature in the things of God, we're at different levels. So we don't never talk about or put down each other. You know, because right. we're at different levels and we're to encourage one another and say, hey, you know what? I used to be there, but you know what? You can do it. You can make it. And I, I see your growth. I see you're growing in things of God. Amen. So we uh -huh. encourage and lift each other up and not put each other down. Yeah. Amen. Woo! We're to rise up. Amen. <laughs> Let me read some of these things I've got for you. <laughs> it says the true meaning of being grateful and giving thanks is Jesus. Amen. Jesus. And uh, go to the next one, Carmen. It says in uh, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave. He gave. Amen. So giving started from God, not just us. I'm going to read you here in less than a few minutes about, well, Pastor, I don't have anything to give. Huh. Well, um, if you was close, I'd probably slap you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Lay hands on you. I'd lay hands on you. All right. Amen. <laughs> For God so loved the world that yeah. he gave his only begotten son that yeah. whoever believeth in him should not perish but have what? Everlasting, Everlasting life. life. Amen. Yeah. So God gave and guess what we're supposed to do? We're yeah. supposed to imitate. Yes. We're supposed to be imitators. Yes. Amen. And we're to give. And um, um, I don't know if I should break, uh, bring this list out now, but I put on here live or give to live. Well, you could say live to give. Yes. Amen? Amen? But today is a day to give. Yes. Even if your bank account is a zero yeah. or your finances are a zero, guess yeah. what? It's not just about finances. Believers have to give. Believers have more to give. Yes. So well, what do I have to give, Pastor? Well, I'm glad you asked. Amen? Uh -huh. I'm just going to skip all this and go right, right down to it. It says you can give of yourself. Yeah. You know what you do? You, you, when you ask Jesus to come into your heart, you surrender yourself. Yeah, yeah. You submit yourself yeah, and you yeah. commit yourself. Yeah. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, we we yeah. had church already, man. I'm blessed yeah. already. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. Give of your time. You know, nobody wants to give their time. Oh, boy. You know, um, we serve a full time God. Uh huh. And when we need him, we want him now. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Even though we're the only part-time uh -huh. Christians, uh -huh. <laughs> we want a full-time God all the time. When I come, you better be there. Uh -huh. When he's knocking for us, uh -huh. we're not there. Uh -huh. Amen. So guess what? Give up your time. Give up your heart. Give up your compassion. Give up your emotions. We're going to be talking a lot about emotions. Give good thoughts. Give a thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't hear that anymore. Uh -huh. You know? We was raised this way. We was raised the right way. And we was raised when we did something wrong or didn't say something. Uh, we went to, what do you call it? The woodshed. Woodshed, yeah. <laughs> and we, we got some laying on of hands. Uh, Amen. <laughs> give a thank you. Give a kind word. Give a cheerful mm -hmm. and joyful attitude. Mm -hmm. Give an appreciation. Give an encouragement. Yes. You know, you see somebody doing something, <laughs> well, I don't want them to be no better than me, you know, so mm -hmm. I ain't going to say nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, God's tugging at your heart, saying, yeah. you know what, that was so good, you, what you did was so good, you know, God's going to bless you, God bless you, you know, mm -hmm. encourage somebody, yes. you know, they might be waiting for a word from God yes. to be encouraged, yes. and you just passed it up, and you, mm -hmm. God was well, you said, well, I just want to serve you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, I want you to tell that person, you know, how much I love them. I want you to tell that person they done a good, they have a good day. Mm -hmm. And you pass it off. You know, so oh, it can't be God, you know. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was God. That wasn't you. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Because you, you just didn't want to see somebody. You didn't want to lift somebody up. Yeah. And you didn't want to say something nice to somebody or encourage somebody. Come on now. So I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> give honor. Give happiness. Give hope. Give a prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's just a few. It says, don't say you don't have anything to give mm -hmm. because you do have something to give. Amen. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I'll just, I'll just, well, the lady with the prophet came and says, what do you have? He says, well, I'll just have a little oil. I'm going to fix me a bread and me and the son, we're going to eat and we're going to die. <laughs> he said, well, give it to me. Yeah. And she did it for him. And guess what? Lord blessed him. Yes. Over and over and over. Amen. What do you have to give? Whatever you have, big or small, give it to him. Yeah. And he knows you put it in God's hands. You know, the boy with the with the lunch, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> you know what the disciples' attitudes were. You see, well, we'll just take it to the Lord. We'll just take it to Jesus and let him know. All we found was a, a little boy with a little lunch, mm -hmm. a couple of fish, and a couple of loaves of bread, you know. So their attitude was, he's just going to say said go home and you know go go home and eat mm. lord says that's good enough mm -hmm. that's what i want you know whatever you see yourself you see what i've got is small guess what put it in god's hands he's going to yes. he's going to turn it around yes, and make it yeah. big and he's going to bless you amen, amen. so <laughs> we got to stop limiting ourselves you know mm -hmm. we got to stop limiting our god because mm -hmm. god is able to do more than that amen so Quit putting those limits on God, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Woo! I said a lot of things to I we haven't even started yet. Giving thanks should be daily, not on a part-time. Should be all the time. He's a full-time God, not a yes, part-time God. We should also be full-time believers, not part-time believers. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we serve a full-time God and we want him full-time all the time when we call him. Yeah. But when he calls on us, mm -hmm. we're not around. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? Not only that, part-time Christian, part-time believers don't match a full-time devil. That's right. Because the devil's full-time. Oh yeah. And we fight a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. And if you're not in the Word of God and you have have no word in you and you're oh, empty, oh, <laughs> guess yeah. what? You ain't no match to the devil. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. don't blame God. He gave us all the tools we need to fulfill our mission. But we need to get the word in us. Yes. But what it says when you get the word in you, uh -huh. it's going to flow out of you. Yes. Amen. It's going to come out of you. Sometimes we surprise ourselves. I can't believe I said that. Mm. Well, you did. You know what? Because you got it in there. Yeah. When you make a deposit, you can withdraw. Yes. It'll come out. Yes. Amen. It's there for you. Yes. Praise Hallelujah. God. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, go to the next one. Okay. Hallelujah. Jesus says, who says this? Jesus says to him, yeah. says, I am yes. the way, the, the truth, truth, and the life. Says no one goes, no one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Mm -hmm. Remember this. He came, he died, but yes. he rose. And then he told us, you know, hey, this is what I want you to do. Go mm -hmm. and bless people, touch people, you know, cast out devils. Do you know all these things? Mm -hmm. But but he says nobody goes to the Father yes, except right. through me. Nobody else. Amen. So whatever yes. you're believing, whatever you've heard, yeah. <laughs> get it right. Yes, yes. Open the word of God and read it and find out what the word of God says. Amen. Not what so and so says. Uh -huh. Not what mom and dad says or not right. what tradition says. But right. find out what the word of God says and do right. what the word of God says. Yes, and yes. be obedient to what the word of God says. Right. Not only hears and doers, but obey what yes. the word of God says. Amen. Woo <laughs> I got all kind of gospel bumps on me. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord. Daily is a great time to give thanks to our God. Amen. Uh -huh. Philippians 4 6 says what? He says, Be anxious about what? Nothing. Nothing. But about everything. In everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Mm -hmm. It says, be thankful. <laughs> you can scratch that and just say, be thankful. Uh -huh. And give him thanks, you know, and cast those things on him mm -hmm. because he cares for you. Yes. Amen. He cares for you. Yes. He wants you to fulfill. He wants you to win. He wants you to be, to do all things through him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. And John 10.10 10 says what? Go next one, Carmen. 
He says, the enemy, yes. the thief, the enemy, yes. come, does not come except to do what? To steal and to kill and to yep. destroy. He says, I have come that they, that's you, uh -huh. you can scratch the they, the, the they <laughs> scratch it and just put your name there. Yes. Amen. Put your name there. Personalize it. Write on your Bible. Highlight yes. it. Do these things. Amen. Don't just make it look pretty and never <laughs> open it. <laughs> He's talking to you. Yes. <laughs> they may have life, life and that they yes. might have it more abundantly. abundantly. If you're not having a more abundant life, uh -huh. it's not his fault. That's right. He's given us all the tools. He's yes. given us his word. He's given us all yes. these things. He even sacrificed his son. Yes, we we have eternal life. Amen. Yeah. But we have to do our part. Yes. And then, woo, hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited. John 10, 10. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, yes. for coming and uh, completing your mission yes. and paying the price in full. Jesus paid the debt he didn't know, and I owe a debt I cannot pay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you know what I can do? I can give myself to him. Yes. Lord, I fail you every day, mm -hmm. but I confess every sin. I confess it to you, and I just leave it there, Father. Mm -hmm. And I thank you. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Mm -hmm. By Jesus Christ, I am forgiven, Lord, yes. by, by, by him, Lord. I am forgiven, Lord. Amen. Thank you. That you can confess all these things yes. and just say, I'm not perfect. Right. Nobody, you know, yeah, all these God. Bible heroes God used uh -huh. in the Bible are not perfect. They all sin. Yes. Amen. And we've sinned, but still we can come to him and say, Lord, forgive me. Mm -hmm. I repent. Amen. Yes. So remember that. And if somebody told you, you've sinned and God can't use you anymore, forget about that. That's right. It's not what the word of God says. Exactly. You get in there and find out what the word says yes. so nobody can use the, that against you anymore. That's right. That's right. God wants to use you. He put you on a mission. Yes. How are you going to fulfill your mission? You know, on a daily basis, God, Jesus went to the Father uh -huh. and got instruction and got strength. You know, Lord, I need your help. I need your yes. strength. I need instructions. That's right. Amen. We need the same thing. Amen. Lord, I need your help. On a daily basis, I need you. Amen. When you fill yourself with him, you know, hey, I'm going to go try and Because I'm going to be strong in, through him and yeah. him. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ooh, come on now. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 118, 24. We're talking about being joyful. We're being uh -huh. excited. You know, everybody's concerned about coronavirus. Everybody's concerned about all the bad things that are going on, you know. Mm -hmm. We need to know that we can be joyful. We can be grateful. We can give yes. thanks. And, and do all these things. Yes. And do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Uh, uh, next one. <clears throat> Not like this. It's be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Uh -huh. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Yes. In all circumstances. What are you facing? Mm. What circumstance are you facing today? What giant are you facing today? Mm. We all face different circumstances. Different giants. Amen. But guess what? <laughs> Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> when you get him in you, yeah. that little David is going to rise up in you. That David is going to rise up in you, and you're going to attack that giant. Amen? Uh -huh. You're going to attack the giant and defeat the giants that are facing you. Amen? Mm -hmm. So praise God. Who no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. Amen? Praise God. Amen. Next one comes. Woo. By the way, we're talking about being joyful now. <laughs> being excited, amen. Yes. <laughs> Some of you are still sad because uh, football season is gone, and, and baseball season is gone, and, and uh, basketball season is gone, you know, and you're so upset, you know, you're, oh my God, you know, you're lost. <laughs> Forget all that. Listen yeah. to this one. Yeah. Proverbs 17, 22. <laughs> a merry heart doing yes. good like what? Yes. Medicine. But a broken spirit drives the bones. I Amen. Know. I'm going to give you a couple of translations here. It says, in the King James, it says, a merry heart. Uh -huh. In the New Living Translation, it says, a cheerful heart. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. A cheerful yes. heart is good medicine, yes. but a broken spirit saps a yes. person's strength. Yes, so true. you're feeling weak? How about getting some, some joy in you? Yes. How about getting some cheerfulness in you? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yes. Proverbs 17, 20 in the English uh, English Standard Version says, A joyful heart is good uh -huh. medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be uh, uh, I don't want to be I don't want to have a crushed 
dried up spirit, amen, right, or right. bones in me, amen. Yes, so listen, you have a lot to do with this. Yes, he did. Because you can open the Bible yes. and get into him and, uh -huh. and let the word get in you. Yes. Amen. Yes, you got to fill yourself. I've told you this yes. before, you know, but before you go into the world, plug yourself into oh, yeah. the strength. Yes. You know, spiritual, uh, keep your spiritual batteries mm -hmm. charged up mm -hmm. before you go into the world. Just plug into him and say, charge me up, Lord. Get that word in you. Amen. Get that relationship going. And uh, when you face your dryness, you know, the Bible says you can do all things through me who I strengthen you. Amen. Those batteries are going to stay up, charged up. Amen. Mm -hmm. One more. There we go. <laughs> you see that little bird? That little bird just singing. It's saying what? The joy of the Lord is what? Your strength. Your strength. Nehemiah 810. 8, 810. That's the latter uh, the, the latter part of the, the scripture. But it says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. Even the birdies are singing. <laughs> so how much more do us as children of God yes. be happy, you know, say excited, you know why? Yes. Because I'm a child of God. Uh -huh. And I've told you this, we should be the happiest people on earth. Happiest. Amen. Yes. Not the saddest, you know. Uh, <laughs> I think believers are, are are worrying the most. Fearful the most oh, and, and don't want to do anything. Don't want to do nothing. Yeah, we need to have we have in faith that you walk by faith and not by sight. That's you walk right. by faith and not by fear. That's right. Amen. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Go to the next one, come on. Your barber is saying, You're making me smile. Who? <laughs> Your barber. Oh my barber? Awesome. Good. I need a barber. Can you see? <laughs> This is the day what the Lord, the Lord has made. made. Yes. Says we or I uh -huh. will rejoice and be glad in it. But you don't know what I'm facing. Oh Jesus. Listen. <laughs> Jesus came into Jerusalem mm -hmm. and they received him as a king. Mm -hmm. One week later, they're crucified. Yes. Amen. That you have to face that. That you have to face mm -hmm. uh, and have stripes on your back and be nailed to a cross. Mm -hmm. No. And he made a way for us to yes, know did. and get the word in us yes, so right. we don't have to go through those things. Amen. Amen. So, hey, let that joy be your strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, I need some strength right now. But then be joyful. <laughs> 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 oh, praise God. We're not going to finish today and we're not trying to. That's Amen. Right. <laughs> but anyway, Psalms 100. You can yeah. open your Bibles there. Psalms you're following, you're, you're uh, watching, you're listening. Psalms 100. We. Yes. Ooh, here lately we've been going over this quite often, amen. Yes. But I'm going to read it Lord. the way I have it here, so you follow along with yours. Psalms 100 is a psalm of being grateful. It's a yes. psalm of uh, thanksgiving, yes, amen. But it says, "Make a joyful shout to the Lord, yes. all you lands." Uh -huh. When it says "make," it's talking to you. <laughs> it's about you making, okay. Yes. You make a, a joyful shout to the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. gladness. Not sadness. Uh -uh. But with gladness. Yes. Huh. Come before his presence with singing. Yes. Know that the Lord, he is God. Uh -huh. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people yes. and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. Just enter his gates with thanksgiving. Yes. And into his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful to him uh -huh. and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Bad? Good. 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 His mercy is everlasting good. and his truth endureth to yes. all oh, generations. Oh, wow. Amen. <laughs> you know, when you get him in you, you're yes. going to be happy. Amen. Yes. And you know what? When you, go, when you get him in you and spend time with him, uh -huh. you got to get yourself ready because everywhere you go out there, Wherever you see, wherever you meet, mm -hmm. there's a lot of rage going on. Oh my there's God. a lot of darkness out there. Yes, you know, sir. you go see people in uh, public places uh -huh. that should receive you with a hi, good morning, good afternoon, mm -hmm. how are you? Mm -hmm. I'm here to save you. I'm here to, bless, uh, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. They don't. They look at you like you're bothering me. Mm -hmm. Get away from me. Yes. Uh, you know, it shouldn't be that way. Right. Amen. Right there, right I mean. There. Bad, bad, bad. This is not the way it should be. But guess right. what? Don't let him steal your joy. That's it. <laughs> you know? It. Don't let him steal your joy before you leave. You just say, thank you, and God bless mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
Why does money gonna make them matter, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's you planted right. a good seed. Yes. Because words are seed. They're yes, carriers they are. of seed. They're they're carriers of life or death. Uh -huh. So you know you don't want to act the same way they did. That's it. Because nobody's gonna win. Mm -hmm. And we can go word for word, and nobody's gonna win. That's but it. you know what? When you act opposite uh -huh. of the negative, you're gonna mm -hmm. be positive yes. and let them know. You know what? You don't know what they're facing. That's right. Amen. And you leave a kind word. You leave a thank you, or you, you leave an encouraging word, Amen. no matter what they did. Yeah. What you think? <laughs> what you think they do with Jesus? Jesus says, "You know what?" He says, "They're gonna hate you. Mm -hmm. You know this world. They're gonna hate you because yeah. what? Because they first hated me. Mm -hmm. So prepare yourselves. Yes. Amen. Prepare yourselves. Mm -hmm. You're not just gonna have it. Uh, that's right. Nice and easy. Mm -mm. It's gonna be tough." Yeah. But that's all right. But he says, you can do all things through me mm -hmm. because I give you the strength. Yes. Amen. So remember that. Yes, Hallelujah. And you're not by yourself. He says he never leaves us nor forsakes us. That's right. Mm -hmm. When you have a relationship, you know God is with you all the yes. time. Yes. Amen. Hmm. Come on now. Yeah, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. Tell me. To give a thanks, Hallelujah. being grateful <laughs> should come from your heart on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis. Not just from this physical heart. We're talking about from your spirit. Yes. Amen. From your spirit. It comes from yes. your spirit. Remember what tried me in spirit, soul, and body. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Giving thanks in Psalms 100 is about this. Mm -hmm. Excitement. Amen. <laughs> Some of us forgot. Yes. <laughs> we need to be excited. Amen. Amen. Joyful shout. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. Yes. Amen. Thank you that I opened my eyes today. Yes. I'm excited. Thank you. I want to serve you. Amen. Yes. I want to serve your people. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Serving with gladness, not sadness, right. not madness. <laughs> <laughs> we get enough right. of that on a daily basis. That's it. Amen. Yeah. And especially now, you know, everybody's got a mask on and, oh, and, and, and they look at you and say, hurry up and get out of here. Yeah. We don't want you here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Coming before God with what? With singing. Okay, all of you that don't care for pastor singing now, he says come to him with singing. So if I sing and you get mad, you're jealous. Well, we, we, we love your singing. We don't mind you singing. We love your singing. Getting to know the Lord. He is God. Know God and know who's your are. Uh -huh. I do have uh, a slide I want to show you in a few minutes here. Enter his gates with praise thanksgiving. Praise. Enter his court with praise. praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. You, Lord. Hallelujah. You yes. know, <laughs> we make plans and we ask God to bless them. But he says, I have plans for you and I have already blessed them. Uh -huh. So why don't we do what God has called us to do? Amen. You know what? Be the original he made you to be and don't try to be a copy like somebody else. Uh -huh. Because what he made you to be is already blessed. Mm -hmm. He's called you. Mm -hmm. He's anointed you. Yes. He's equipped you. Yes. And he's made you to succeed. Yes, he has. Amen. And not try to be somebody else, right. but be yourself. Whether it be something small or something big, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You yes. know, this part of this physical body yes. has many parts. Yes. And all these parts work in unity. Yes, they do. And some are small and some are big. Some work mm -hmm. in. Some work out, mm -hmm. but still, whatever small part it is, they work in unity, yeah. and there's no jealousy, and that's, that's the way we need to be as that's it. body of Christ, is yes. be united, yeah. amen? Yeah. He didn't call Baptists, he didn't call Pentecostals, he didn't call Catholics, he called believers. Yes. We're believers. Yes. Amen. We're ministers of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. We're uh, uh, ministers. We're his uh, ambassadors. Yes. We're his mouthpiece on earth. Yes. If he's a head, we're the body that he can use to go with the church. Yes. With the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise Thank God. You, Thank you, Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. I'm preaching myself happy. I know about you. Yeah. <laughs> we're happy. Yeah. We're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> Giving yourself. Yes. Again, surrender yourself. Yes. Submit yourself and commit yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, come on. Yes. Bless his name. Blessing the Lord's name. Amen. Yes. Listen to this. Psalms 100 is full of 
action words. Yes, it is. <laughs> Amen. So, child of God, you yes. should be active. You should be excited. Yes. Amen. Woo. Excited for Jesus makes people make well makes the devil mad, uh -huh. but it makes jealous people mad also. Oh God. Whoa, who does she think he is? Mm. Or who does she think she is? You know, she just got saved. He just got saved and already think. You know, they're excited about serving God. You know, you've dried up, you know, you ain't even yeah. opened your Bible in years, you know, but you call yourself a Christian. Oh, just because yeah. I go stand in a garage don't mean I'm a car. That's just because you come to church doesn't save you. Uh -huh. You got to get the word in you. Yes. Amen. Amen. You got to get the word of God in you. So wherever you go, Amen. you're going to use the word, you yes. know, and when you get the word of God in you, fear goes out. And guess what? The enemy's got to go mm -hmm. because you're submitted to the, the word. You should submit yourself to God. You, resist the devil yes. and he'll flee. Yes. You know, some of us are still sitting on your como se llama and telling God, oh, can, can you can you take the devil away? <laughs> no. no, he says, I've given you authority. Mm -hmm. So you take your authority and use that authority he's given you. Amen. Gotta get the word of God and release it. You know, when you get it in you, you gotta release it. It's gotta come out of you. Amen. You can't hold it in. Devil ain't is not scared, afraid of you know you reading the word. Mm -hmm. He's afraid of how much of the word you got in you that's coming mm -hmm. out of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now he knows. Huh, these guys are maturing. These guys are growing in the word. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do: confess the word. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. So I already read you the list. So I, I wrote me another note here. It says read them the list. <laughs> 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 you know we're always in a hurry about things. Especially when we come to God, say, mm -hmm. when we come and I load on Him and we run away, mm -hmm. and God said, "You wouldn't even give, give time to worship Him or or just say thank you." We just dump and go. Mm -hmm. Man, we can't do that, you know. We're always in too much of a hurry. We need to yeah. spend time with Him. Spend time, Amen. With, spend time with Him yeah. and just let Him know. Sometimes all we can say is <laughs> thank you, mm -hmm. but you know what? He knows your heart. And yes. he knows what you're going through. Mm -hmm. But you spend time with him. Amen. Amen. Spend time with him. All these words are calling to do something. To be thankful in words and actions. You know what we're supposed to watch? We're supposed to watch our words and our actions. Yes. Because you know, people are watching. Mm -hmm. Enemies watching. Oh, oh. You know, people you know that you're a Christian. They don't say anything until you say something wrong. Oh, my goodness. Then they'll say, well, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. and come on, watch your words and watch your mm -hmm. actions. Amen? To give thanks is to be involved. Mm -hmm. Some of us have been coming to church all this time and waiting for everybody to do all the work around us. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get involved and mm -hmm. do some? Amen. Get involved and do whatever needs to be done. You know, there's yes. a lot of things to do in church. Yes. Amen? There's a lot of things to do. Yes. And so, we'll be back tomorrow, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. God calls us to be active and involved in giving thanks to Him. Amen. Giving thanks is done daily, not monthly, <laughs> not yearly, or when I want to, mm -hmm. not just when all is going right. He says He's a God on the mountain mm -hmm. and He's God in the valley. Yes. You know, so sometimes we go through some mountaintops uh -huh. and sometimes we go through some valleys, but okay. guess what? He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So whatever you're going through, know mm -hmm. God is with you. Yes, he is. Amen. God yes. is with you. Yes. He's the God on the mountain. He's God in the valley. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and we're going through. Psalms 23 and 4 says what? He said, even when I go through the valley of shadow of death, mm -hmm. I will fear no evil. Why? Because right. God is with me. Yes. God is with me. Amen. Uh -huh. So give thanks is about joyful excitement and enthusiasm. <laughs> when was the last time you, you smiled? <laughs> Put a smile on your face. I'm telling you. It makes, it makes jealous people mad. Amen. Get a mask. Then they don't know. <laughs> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All you lands. <clears throat> Church, God made us people of emotions. People of passion. Amen. So be excited. Be enthused. Be joyful about what God is doing in our lives. Amen. Don't worry about <clears throat> excuse me don't worry about the coronaviruses 
in the world. Don't worry about what the world is doing. Be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Go to the next one, please. I got some of these things I want to show you. It said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I know you have breath in you. You're still breathing. He says, praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Even the birds, even animals. Amen. Praise uh -huh. God. Keep going. Here, this is what I wanted to show you here. It says, the giant in front of you is never bigger than the God inside of you. We need to get this attitude. We need to know this. But you got to get the word in you. When you get the word in you, man, you're that giant. Amen. Hold me back. Huh. Go to the next one coming. Here. Look at this. David didn't need to know Goliath's strength because he already knew God's strength. Yeah. When you know your God uh -huh. and you know who you are, uh -huh. you don't have to worry about what's coming at you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> because the greater one is in you. And you can do all things through him. So, hey, let that little David attitude rise up in you. Amen? Come on now. I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you're so blessed. And you're blessed by the best. And you're so blessed to be stressed. So you know what? Let that stress go. Let those cares go. Amen? <laughs> he's our God. He's our creator. He's our provider. And he's our healer. He's almighty. He is awesome. Mm -hmm. So don't let anyone, any fears, or anyone, including coronavirus, put yeah. a scare on you. Yep, yep. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but That's a right. power of love and a sound mind. sound mind. He's giving you the strength to get out of bed this morning yes. and be here. Yes. Or be where you are. Yeah. He gave you all good gifts. Uh huh. That's enough reason to shout. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's enough yeah. for you to shout. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. He wants to bless you. He wants to use you. Yeah. You have to make yourself available. Yeah. You know? And I'll close with this. Praise <laughs> God. God's not looking for perfect people. He's yeah. looking for available people. Yeah. Are you available for him? Huh? Are you making yourself available to him? That's what we need to do on yeah. a daily basis. Making yourself available for God to use you. He's not the problem. We need to correct this problem. Yeah. Amen. We need to correct ourselves yeah. and get right and do what yeah. he's told us to do. Be yes. hearers and doers of his word. Yes. Walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Walk by faith and not by fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. So guess what? <laughs> Coronavirus, don't worry about that. Praise yeah. God. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Yes. And we're going to continue with this because <laughs> we ain't even touched part of it. That's okay. <laughs> so shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Amen. Yes. All of us. Amen. Yes. And uh, one quick thing. No. I'm close with that. There we go. Second Timothy 1 7. For God is not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, power love, of and of a sound, sound mind. mind. Amen. Go to the next one. Here we go. Psalms 23. He is our good shepherd. He is our shepherd. Yes. He is. No. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. I shall not want. Okay. Keep going. Psalms 90, uh, 91. And one says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High yes. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Last week we talked about He wants to protect you with yes. His put His wings around you, oh. just like a just like a, a mother hen yes. covers the little one with His her wings. Yes. You know, as long as you're under that umbrella of protection uh -huh. and stay there, the enemy has no right to That's get right. to you. Amen. But guess what? Don't walk away from that. Mm -hmm. Stay under there. Amen. Yeah. Keep going. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. That's it. Yeah. We read this last week, but we want you to see it again. Yeah. It says, God is still God still speaks, heals, comforts, provides, creates, restores, redeems, manifests. Yeah. He says, God is I am, oh. not I was. That's right. If somebody That's been right. preaching this at you, it's time you put them aside. Yes. <laughs> and know that my God is the God that I am. Yes. He is the I am, not yes. I was. Amen. So, Amen. praise God. Praise so, I hope that bless you. It blessed me. Thank you. <laughs> Made me happy. Amen. <laughs> uh, I, 
have written this one. It says, the giants, the cares, the coronaviruses, the problems, the troubles in front of you are never bigger than the God inside of you. Mm. Know who you are in him. Just be you. Yeah. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. Yeah. And I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. You just be that winner and that champion and that yeah. overcomer God has made you to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, uh, God has no problems with you. Yes. Amen. We make problems to ourselves, mm -hmm. you know. So know who you are. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So praise yeah. God. If you never ask Jesus to come into your heart, now's the time. Just yes. ask that. Lord, yes. now's the time. I need you, Lord. Yes. Come into my heart. Amen. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. You know what? He's not going to turn on your way. That's right. He's going to receive you with open arms. Yes. Amen. You've yes. just been going the wrong way, just like the prodigal son. Now it's time to do it. I, I turn around and come back to him and say, yeah. I'm here. He put you here to fulfill a mission. Yeah. Now's the time to come home and say, Lord, I want to fulfill mm -hmm. the mission you have given me. Yeah. Use those gifts he's given you. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. So all you have to do is say, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And he will. Just get yourself uh, hooked up to a church. Once all this is over, hooked up to a church where you can go and, and learn the word and grow in the things of God. And get you a Bible. Start reading your Bible. Now is a good time to read. You got plenty of time to read. Mm -hmm. Read the word and get the word of God in you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And uh, if you're hurting for whatever reason, spirit, soul, body, mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, just touch yourself. Whatever part of the body you're hurting, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that by Jesus Christ we are healed. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. By Jesus Christ, heal totally in Jesus' name. Whatever's attacking, Lord, we cancel those assignments right now. In Jesus' name, and we thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the price. With the stripes we're healed. And we receive that healing right now. Body, I call you well and I call you healed now. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. So, offering time. <laughs> it's giving time. Those of you watching or listening that would like to give your tithes and your offerings, you can still do that. And also want to say thank you for those of you that are sending yours. We thank you for helping us during this time of trial. And uh, website's on the screen. It's uh, nbcbigben.com. And go, just go to the donate button. If you mail it, mail it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. Again, we want to say thank you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, you're welcome.